the Istil Woman. Also known as the Unknown Woman of Istil, is a name given to an unidentified woman whose body was discovered in the Istilan Valley near Bergen, Norway on November 29, 1970. The case has remained one of Norway's most perplexing unsolved mysteries, and it has generated widespread media attention over the years. Discovery of the Body On the day of November 29, 1970, a man and his two daughters were out hiking in the Istilan Valley when they came across the charred remains of a woman lying in a remote area. The scene was suspicious, and the man immediately reported it to the police. The police arrived on the scene and discovered the woman's body, which had been severely burned, making it difficult to identify her. The woman had suffered a bruise to her neck from either a blow or a fall. Additionally, around 50 to 70 sleeping pills were in her stomach, but they had not all been fully absorbed into her bloodstream when she died. The only items found with the body were a silver spoon, a burned passport, and some clothing items. Investigation The investigation into the Istil woman's death revealed several suspicious circumstances. Some claims have been made that the woman's fingerprints had been sanded away, but this is not true. Complete set was taken from the corpse. The Istil woman had a golden work done to her teeth, which is not typical of Norwegian dentistry. The woman was wearing several layers of clothing, indicating that she may have been trying to conceal her identity or her location. Later, they find two suitcases at Bergen Railway Station's left luggage department. One of the suitcases contains prescription-free glasses and a fingerprint on one of the pairs matches the woman's. Police try hard to trace the woman's belongings. But soon, they realize that all the labels that could have identified the woman, her clothes or belongings, had been removed. Even the prescription sticker on the eczema cream, which would have shown the name of the doctor and the patient, has been scraped off. There was also a notepad with a coded message. It was merely shorthand with months and destinations reduced to initial letters. The code allowed police to track the Istil woman to Trondheim, Oslo, Stavanger, and elsewhere. Further investigation revealed that the woman had stayed in several hotels in the Bergen area in the weeks leading up to her death. She had used multiple fake names and identities. The police were unable to identify the woman or determine the cause of her death, which was listed as carbon monoxide poisoning. The case went cold, and the Istil woman's identity remains a mystery to this day. Theories and Speculation Over the years, many theories have emerged about the Istil woman's identity and the circumstances surrounding her death. Some speculate that she was a spy, given her use of multiple identities and the coded message. Others believe she may have been involved in criminal activity, possibly smuggling or trafficking. There have also been suggestions that the woman was a victim of foul play, possibly murdered by someone she knew or involved with. However, there is no concrete evidence to support any of these theories. The case has continued to capture public attention, and there have been several attempts to identify the Istil woman through forensic analysis and DNA testing. In 2016, the case was reopened by Norwegian authorities, and new efforts are underway to try to solve the mystery of the Istil woman's identity. Further results revealed that the mystery woman had been born in Germany, and almost certainly in Nuremberg. Conclusion The Istil woman's case remains one of Norway's most perplexing unsolved mysteries. Despite extensive investigation and analysis over the years, authorities have been unable to identify the woman or determine the circumstances surrounding her death. The case has captured public attention due to its unusual circumstances, and many theories and speculations have emerged over the years. The reopening of the case in 2016 and 2019 has renewed hope that the Istil woman's identity may one day be discovered, and her story may finally be told.